traditional tried and true method of writing one program that does the job, and he got it to work quickly, in fact, faster than I would have thought was possible. The term for it is monolithic, which means that basically the OS itself is one entity, indivisible, um, while in a microkernel, a, the, the operating system kernel is actually Okay, uh, well, answer, <laughs> he does a pretty good job. Stalin does an excellent job explaining why Linux itself isn't working. You expand outside the kernel and you all these different programs together, you'll see why it doesn't work. Although he doesn't know he's telling us that. Why is it that he was able to kind of come in at the tail end? Well, we actually started the GNU herd not long before he started Linux. And as it happened, though, we chose a design that's a very advanced design in terms of the power it gives you, but also turns out to be very hard to debug. It, we decided to divide up the kernel, which traditionally had been one program, to divide it up into a lot of smaller programs that would send messages to each other asynchronously to, to communicate. And the problem is that that style of programming has a great deal of potential for bugs, which are often very hard to figure out because they depend on does this mess send does this program send this message before or after this one sends that message, and the result was it took us years to get the thing to work. What is Linux's relationship to the GNU? Okay, so <laughs> and that's that's what's happening in Linux, but it's not just in this core of the operating system. It's happening with the programs, this program interacting with that library, that part of Pulse Audio, and this part of Alza, and that that's what the problem is. And I think Linux needs to be a lot more monolithic, and it needs to be less divided, and it needs to have, uh, really honestly, uh, these programs, you know, whatever libraries that my uh, camera front end is using, they need to take that stuff and incorporate it into their program into one thing and just manage that one thing and fine-tune those different libraries that they borrowed from somebody else and fine-tune it for their own purposes as a one-use program, as a camera, a webcam program. Um, and get it to automatically prompt you if your driver is not installed. You know, you know things like that. Wizards, they don't exist in Linux. There's a lot of missing things, and and so um, this is where this is my overview of where the whole the whole system is just out of touch with what needs to be done to to get things right. And I, I don't, <laughs> you know, the only operating system I think at all that is going to be worth getting besides Windows is going to be Mac OS X, but it's just way overpriced. It's always I don't know why it always ends up being that way. But it is. And so um, there you have it. I, I'm done with my ranting for the day. I'm going to go home. But um, hopefully I've explained. I don't expect that my latest videos here are going to be helpful that much to anybody, except maybe to get people to, to listen if anybody actually watches this and, and, and realize what happens to the end user and why people go away and why people say what they do and why Windows users are as mad as they are when they hear people put windows down. It's, it's not that way. Linux needs to be Linux and GNU and all that. They need to be humble. Advocates need to get out there and either code or find a way to get paid to code and code right and, and do some bug testing and, um, and get paid through contributions. I'm all for that. I'd help out any organization I'm, I'm an expert in not-for-profit accounting, so I can help out any organization get a not-for-profit status to receive contributions to uh, help them make a living out of, out of this uh, public commodity rather than just putting their spare time into it. Because no one could really do a really good job at anything if they're not spending most of their time doing it. So this is going to be it for me. I'm just going to upload these videos and I'm going to go.